Hey cashers, Derek here, Baker Six Clan. Hey, I am going after a really cool gadget cache at a really cool place. So stay tuned and let's find this cache. All right, so I'm actually at what's called Fishtails down here in Savannah, and there is a really cool gadget cache here. And if you know what, I love gadget caches. And this one, you kind of have to bring a tot. So I brought my tot. So let's go see if we can find it, and let's get it, and then we'll talk to the cache owner. I'm thinking this here is actually the final, the actual cache, because I mean, if you come around here on this side. It says, read cache page, description, geocache.com. So this is the cache. Man, look at this. It is just so cool. It's a flounder. I'm gonna look at the craftsmanship of this. Now I gotta figure out how I gotta get, use this tot to get into it. Okay, so I see the posts. All right, so I got the tot. So let's see what happens. Oh, that is just too cool. Look at that. That is just a really cool lure. Kind of fits the location that we're at. I mean, we're at a marina. And then we're actually in the restaurant at the marina called Fishtails. And that is really, really cool. All right, so now let's get it back up there. All right, so plus, minus, minus this way. So that is just a really, really cool gadget. All right, so I'm got with the cash owner. We've met him before. It's Kevin, or as everybody around here knows him as, Ranger Doc. Man, I can't tell you how much I love gadget caches. And I know you got several more, and we're gonna have several of those featured here on, on behind the cache, but um, this one's really cool. Tell me a little bit about, how did you come up with this idea? Uh, I got the inspiration, inspiration from this one, actually, from uh, WV, WV Tim's widget up in uh, West Virginia. Um, found that one years ago, years ago. I think probably four or five years ago I found that and I was like, this is so cool, I gotta do a cache, something like this someday. And uh, so the idea and the, the, the method has always been in my head, but how to incorporate it into something of my own, right. just was waiting on it. And then once I moved from next door from Savannah over here to Richmond Hill and uh, became a regular visitor of the marina here, um, it, it all just, it all clicked. That uh, it was gonna be one of those hidden in plain sight, and uh, this one couldn't be more than that. And this is actually probably, of all the caches I've ever made, or come up as far, this is probably one of my favorite, because it's literally hidden in plain sight, smack you right in the face, <laughs> and uh, three feet away from people dining right now at the table, three feet away from it, have no idea it's a geocache, it just blends right in with the rest of the nautical motif around here. Right. Now, so. speaking of the nautical motif, now did you actually design, put the, do the fish out there? Or was that no, I bought there? the fish, bought the fish on eBay. Okay. That I just, yeah, I can't carve. Right, I mean, that's just really cool. Cause I mean, I didn't know if that was actually already here and you just added to it or if you get, they let you bring it in. Yep, no, we uh, picked the flounder up on eBay and that was really the, 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 the linchpin right there on that one. Cause I had to find something big enough that would hide the cash container and the motor that wouldn't be visible from the front. Yeah. So measurement wise, it took me a while to find something. It took me over a year actually to find the right fish to, <laughs> to hook it up to. Right, but, and, and I love how the, the container comes down and it's in a lure. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's just, it's here to lure you to here. And it's just, there's a lure that you get to sign. And it's just, it's such an awesome, and creative cash. I really like it. Big fish eat the little fish. Big fish eat the little fish. <laughs> all right. Well, hey, thanks once again. Another great cash. Love getting to see all your different caches in this area. Thanks for bringing us here. Thanks for taking us out because this is actually where you go out to, to go out to Wausau, correct? Yep, absolutely. All right. And, yeah, and, sh and shameless plug for the location too because we're not on the cash page. But uh, great eats at Fish Tales. Great eats, great cocktail. You got a tiki roof, you got an outdoor bar, you got a heck of a view. Never gonna put you won't find any fresher seafood literally brought into the dock here. Good eats, good drinks, good company, good view, great cash. All right, got it all. That's great. All right, so if this is the first time you've seen Behind the Cash, click that subscribe button right over here. Give me a thumbs up, give me some comments down below. Have you seen one of these caches before? Have you gotten West Virginia Timbs? 
I want to hear about it. So comment down below. All right. I'll see you next time right here on Behind the Cash. I'm going to go over here and sit down and eat.